My name is Melissa Easton, and I'm head of the Special Collections Department here at the East Baton Rouge Parish Library. The East Baton Rouge Parish Library System was established following in the footsteps of long civic tradition in Louisiana of supporting local libraries. Funded by local bonds, our first branch was opened in downtown Baton Rouge in September of 1939. 82 years later, our system is home to a main library and 13 community or regional branches, as well as several bookmobiles. With a staff of more than 540 employees, this five-star library system is open a cumulative total of 958 hours weekly. The library's collection, both physical and digital, numbers almost 2 million items with over 310,000 current card holders. In 2020, our reference department answered 118,000 questions. Our circulation department sent out 2.2 million items. The East Baton Rouge Parish Library offers a wide variety of annual programming. In 2020, we held 3,200 programs of all types for all ages, including a Maker's Fair and our very own Antiques Roadshow. Built on the site of the former Baton Rouge downtown airport, our flagship location is the main library at Goodwood. Opened in 2014, this 129,000 square foot, three-story building is adjacent to the Independence Park playground and soccer fields, as well as the beautiful Baton Rouge Botanical Gardens. The first floor of our library is home to our circulation department, our teen room, our children's room, and the career center. The central staircase leads to the second floor computer banks, fiction and nonfiction stacks and reference department. Just off the main room is the special collections department. Our special collections department was established in 1980 when Mayor Woody Dumas created a legacy room for himself at the downtown branch library. At the same time, a small local archive called the Baton Rouge Room was also established. In the course of planning the new main library in the early 2000s, it was decided that we would combine the Baton Rouge Room, our genealogy room, along with the vertical file and our microfilm department into one special collections department. Walking into the department, you enter the genealogy reading room. This part of the library was designated for quiet study. Our genealogy department was established in 1943 when a local chapter of the Daughters of the American Revolution donated a thousand books. The collection is still housed here today. Our physical collection is a carefully curated selection of resources focusing on the genealogies of the families of the Southeast and beyond. Our genealogy department offers a wide variety of resources, including a carefully curated physical collection. Our physical collection is very unique. It's relevant to the Southeast, but our resources expand to national and international families and genealogies. We have a wonderful collection of periodicals that focus mainly on Louisiana, but we also do offer national genealogical titles. We have a wonderful staff. Our staff, perhaps, is our best resource. We offer one-on-one -on -one consultations, we do phone consultations, and we do email consultations. Looking around the reading room, you may notice the display cases. One of the ways that we highlight collections from our archival department is by assembling displays. Each display is crafted to complement a library program, public holiday, or historical event. The items that comprise each display can come from one single collection, such as the Baton Rouge Room Record Collection, or many different collections like the items that you see here. This display highlights Baton Rouge Staycation. The items come from individual manuscript collections, our map collection, and our vertical files. All of these materials are housed in the Baton Rouge Reading Room. Here we have the vertical files. Our vertical files are topic specific to the city of Baton Rouge and East Baton Rouge Parish. They are no longer the traditional newspaper clip files you find, but rather primary source files that have been collected over the years. For example, here's a selection of vintage menus from Baton Rouge restaurants that are no longer in existence. I love the color and designs of these menus, and I also love the prices of the food. 
As you come further into the Baton Rouge room, you'll see our collection of city directories. Our city directories begin in 1857 and actually go through the current day. Even though phone books are no longer published, many of you in the archival field know the wonderful resource that the crisscross directories are, and we still do receive uh, the cold directories annually. Moving further into the reading room, we are fortunate to have a large collection of yearbooks. Our yearbooks, again, are from schools that are or were in East Baton Rouge Parish or the city of Baton Rouge. Currently, we have about 963 yearbooks, and about 40% of them are digitized and available online in our digital archive. Yearbooks are a wonderful historical resource. They're probably our most commonly used collection. People use them for all types of reasons. One of my favorite parts about the yearbook collection are the cover designs and how they've changed over the years, and really they represent stylistic eras and history. Moving down the stacks, you see our manuscripts collection. Everybody is familiar with our beautiful Hollinger boxes. In these boxes are millions of pieces of paper collected by the Baton Rouge Room since the 1980s. Our collections run the gamut from individual, unique, interesting persons in the Baton Rouge community to events and organizations. We've got collections from journalists, collections from Mardi Gras crews, collections from collectors. The variety of materials in our manuscripts collection can be viewed on our Baton Rouge Room digital archive. As you look around the Baton Rouge Reading Room, you'll notice a wide variety of art. We have been fortunate enough to have our administration support collecting art. As you look on the walls here, you can see art from current and past Baton Rouge artist. We've got Charles Barbier, the Big Green Cajun Greenies painting. We've got Kelly Scott Kelly, who is a, a wonderful surrealist artist who teaches at LSU. Randall Henry and his Bright Abstracts is currently an art teacher at Southern University. And then at the beginning of our art collection are these Clementine Hunter paintings. Clementine Hunter was a self-taught artist out of Melrose, Louisiana. A man named James Register donated a collection of her paintings to the East Baton Rouge Parish Library in 1964, which really were the seed of our art collection. This tall wooden sculpture here is called the Holy Family, and it was done by a man named Frank Hayden. Frank Hayden was a longtime art professor at LSU and is slowly becoming renowned more as an important, influential, mid-century modern artist. In the back of our department, we have our scanning and digital forensic station. We work mainly with the Epson flatbed scanner. It's an 11 by 17 scanner. This is our real workhorse. Most of our scanning is done on this flatbed. It allows us to scan uh, negatives, documents, printed photos. We also have a large format map scanner. Currently we have scanned a very small percentage of them. Along with our scanning station, we also have our digital forensic station. We have a FRED tower, which allows us to work with obsolete media, recover data from obsolete media. It allows us to run checksums. It allows us to do data recovery audio, visual, as well as digital. Thank you for visiting the East Baton Rouge Parish Library's Special Collections Department. To learn more about us, you can visit our info guide or our Baton Rouge Room digital archive online at www.ebrpl.com. If you'd like to visit us in person, we're located on the second floor of the main library at Goodwood, where Baton Rouge history comes alive. <laughs>